Hey guys, it's Jen from I Create Crafts. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create these cute Valentine's Day towels. I use Dollar Tree towels and some white flower sacks. These are so easy and very inexpensive to create, so let's get started. So I found these files on design bundles. I'll leave the links below in case you're interested, but I have to say these gnomes are so stinking cute. They will be a bit more work with doing cute. They will be a bit more work with doing the HTV and the multiple colors, but they're so stinking cute, I can't help but wanna do it. So the only thing I need to do is change the size of these files and maybe the color a little bit. So. I'll tell you one thing, for this guy here, the gnomes, I'm actually gonna show you really quick, I'm gonna shrink my screen. I actually took the time and I, how do I explain it? I put all the colors together. So I'm gonna make my screen bigger and show you guys what I mean. So I took it and I can do a video on this if anybody's interested, but I just didn't wanna waste anybody's time if you know how to do it. But I just basically took all the red colors and attached them, all the pink colors and attached them, all the white, all the little hand colors, um, all the gray, and I attached everything together that when I cut it out on HTV, I don't have to take each individual piece and put it together. So it's gonna make it so much easier for me when I cut it out and I put it onto my, towels but i just wanted to be honest with you and tell you that's what i did so it's going to be a little bit easier for me so for this part this one i'm not going to resize i'm actually going to resize the one that i worked with down here but also i just want to resize this one quarantine valentine vibes sorry guys we're still in quarantine but uh, valentine's day is coming up so let's have a little bit of fun so the towels that i'm using i'm using um tea towels or flower sack towels as they're called from Walmart. And then I also have dollar store uh, kitchen hand towels that I'm going to be using that are red. So I know I'm going to be making a few of these. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually is make a duplicate of this one. So I'm gonna go up here and push duplicate. And I did that because I wanna have one white and I wanna have one red because my tea towels or my flower sack towels are white and I'll do a red one on there. And then for the red towel, I wanna to do one white. So with this one selected, I'm going to go up to the color box and change it to white so that I can have two separate ones. So the other thing I wanna do is figure out the size. So I took the time and actually unfolded the uh, flower sack one and I ironed it really well and I made it look really neat because I'm going to be selling these. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I just took the time and did it and I figured out the size. So the size is going to be about a four by four um, for both of my towels. So with one selected, I'm gonna go up to the unlock box and I'm gonna change it to be four by four. Whoops, and it did not wanna change on me, four. So that's the size that it's going to be. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one, click the unlock box and then change it four by four. And by all means, yours might not be the same as mine. So make sure that you um, take the time and measure. I take the easy route and I just take one of my mats and kind of hold it up to the towel and see what size I can get out of it. So I'm gonna do the same for this. Um, I'm gonna select the whole thing and I'm gonna change it up here to four by four and we'll see, maybe it'll be too small. Not sure why it keeps doing that. With it being a little bit small here, the roses, chocolate, candy, open daily, I think maybe I'm just gonna stretch it a little bit. So since this is all one piece, I'm just gonna take this double arrow and stretch it just a little bit. Maybe it'll help it for when I cut it out, be a little bit um, easier to read. But again, I'm just gonna do it just a little bit more seeing how far I can get out with it. And then we'll have to get the little heart. So I'm gonna actually find the heart here on the side. I'm gonna look for one of the hearts here. Let's see, this one here. And then just move, whoops, now I missed it again. Let's just do this. So I'm gonna take him and just stretch the heart out just a little bit more 
to make it touch like it was before. So you don't have to do this as if yours isn't the same size as mine, but I just thought it would make it a little bit easier to read and a little bit easier to cut out um, with it. So this one is finished. These two are finished. And like I said, I took the time and I selected all these together. So I'm going to make my screen a little bit smaller so we can see this one. And then I'm going to take this one actually and resize this one. So this one's going to be the four by four. I don't know why it keeps doing that. <laughs> there we go. So I'm actually going to delete this one because that was the original one I had. I'll bring my screen back up to size and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it looks a little bit different than the one we were just looking at because the pieces are behind each other. So there's many different pieces here as you can see. But is this is what I'm talking about is I took the time and I put all of the colors together and I can move it now because I already have it the size that I wanted it. So all the whites together, all the grays together, all the pink. So when it cuts out, instead of it being cutting out little hearts, little pieces here and there, it's going to cut it all out as one whole piece. So when I go to put it on my towel, it's going to be much easier rather than me trying to figure out um, where to place each piece. So this that is totally up to you guys if you want to do that. Like I said, I'll do a video on it if you're interested in seeing how I did that. Basically, I just clicked on it, held my command button down, and then I clicked on each color that I wanted to keep. So you just have to watch how you put this on together, um, but it'll cut out just like this. So I'm going to cut this out as it looks. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to click make it. And it's going to bring up all of my stuff. Whoops. Somewhere I didn't attach. I have to find this one because I don't like it when it does it different. I like it when it's all connected together. So let's look here. I made a mistake too. So we're going to go back. And by mistake, I mean I like it when it's all connected to each other and I don't have to worry about figuring out what how these words go together or what it's supposed to say. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and I'm going to go and find it. So I think it might have been this one. Loads of love. You can see it's not attached down here, so it will cut out like the way we just saw. And I'm thinking this one did it too. So I'm going to go ahead and click attach. And then knowing that I just duplicated this one, I'm going to attach that too. So that should fix the problem. So we'll see. So I'm going to click make it and we'll see if that helped. So here are these two pieces in white. Here's the gray part. Oh, that's much better. So if you guys see what I mean, it's all one piece and you can see what it says too. So I'm going to just go down and check these. Yep, that's perfect. I got one little heart all by itself. And then I got all the hands and everything there. And there's part of the hat. And there's the cute little feet and the red hat. So everything is perfect the exact way I want it. And now that I'm going to be using HTV heat transfer vinyl, the thing you please, please, please remember, I cannot stress enough, is to mirror your image. So I'm going to go through each one of these and just click mirror so that I don't forget later on when I'm doing this. I've made the mistake way too many times and cut out way too many things and forgot to mirror it. And then I'm like, shoot. I got to start all over again. So I've wasted a lot of HTV that way. So if you're using heat transfer vinyl, please make sure that you mirror it. And I'm going to move this over a little bit. I just try to allow myself a little bit of room with my scissors to get into each piece. But I think all these other ones are, are okay with each other. So the next part you're going to want to do is um, I'm going to click continue and I'm going to show you what mine looks like. Can you guys tell me if your screen looks the same as mine or if it's different because I have the maker? I'm always telling people how to do this next part, but I'm never sure if you see this part. So could somebody please comment down below if you see this part on your screen or if it's different because you might have a different machine than me. Um, I did have the Explore probably about two years ago and it broke and I upgraded to the maker so they didn't have the screen at that time so I'm just curious to know what you guys see so this is what I see I'm just curious if you guys see this so what I use for my uh, base material is I use this uh, iron on heat transfer non cricket if you guys are subscribers of mine you know I don't really use a lot of name brand um, materials so I don't use a lot of cricket I buy whatever is on sale so I'm just gonna go ahead and click this one 
It's going to tell me I'm going to have to do a white, gray, black, red. Oh boy, there's lots of them on here. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. I'll weed it out. And then I'll show you the next step of putting it all together and showing you how to put it onto your towels. And I'm also going to use my heat press for it. By all means, you could use a uh, Cricut Easy Press or an iron, but I upgraded to my heat press and I'm never going back. So um, stay tuned, guys. I'm going to finish this up and then I'll show you the next step. So I'm taking Dollar Tree um, towels. This is just a regular Dollar Tree towel. It says polyester and it's red. And then here is the cutout of the gnomes. I love this. I think it turned out so cute. Let's see if I can find the other one really quick. Here's this one that I did. Um, it turned out so stinking cute. I absolutely love it, but there is a lot of layers to this. So you can skip this one if you want, or you can do it, but I figured I'd show you guys the whole thing. So I put this together how it looks, and I'm just gonna start from backwards. I mean, there's many layers, like I said. Um, I put them together so each layer, each color would be a layer. So here's like the white for the, or the cream for the noses, and then I have the white for their beards, their pink for the hearts, the red for the feet. So there's a bunch of uh, layers on here. So I'm just gonna take it and go backwards and start my way that way. So um, I'm gonna, I have my heat press set at 315 for 30 degrees. Um, by all means, you guys don't have to use a heat press, but if you know my channel, you know I love my heat press and I always talk about it. So if you have an iron, you can use an iron that way or a Cricut Easy Press. Um, but I have the heat press so I have it laid down and I'm just gonna hold it down for a couple seconds um, Just to get it nice and warm kind of preheat it to make my uh, Decal stick to it. So it's just nice and preheated heated now. I'm gonna take my um, Decal and I'm gonna work backwards. So we're gonna peel the back one off because I already put it all together and the first one is just red hat and then his feet. Unfortunately, this is the second time I cut this out, so it's going to be red on red, but what are you gonna do? So I have it on here, I'm just measuring to make sure it's in the middle and everything. Then you wanna take your parchment paper or your protective covering, whatever you might have, put it on top of there and then press it for the 30 seconds. Oh boy, again, I love you guys. I hope you guys stick through this video because this is the second time I'm doing this, but I'm always honest with you guys and I'm always truthful and um, I wanted to give you guys a good video. Instead of voicing over it, I wanted to give you a good video. So as we wait for this, I can just show you this quick again. So this one was Quarantine Valentine uh, vibes. I thought that was pretty cute and kind of funny. And I love the red with the white. So this is going to be finished in one second. Pull it up your paper away and then carefully pull back your covering and this is the uh, glitter um, HTV I don't know if it shows up too well in here but I love it so that's just one part we have a lot more parts to go on this again I'm going to be working backwards from the way that I have this so I'm trying to hold everything together so here's the front I'm just gonna take it from the back piece again and it's another glitter piece so this piece I'm going to be matching up with the feet so take your time with this, match it up correctly, and go from there. But I'm just going to take my time really quick and find where it goes. It is kind of more difficult because I am using the glitter and the red on red, unfortunately. But we're going to do our best here. So I'm just looking to make sure I got it on there. And again, again, just take your protective covering or your parchment paper, whatever you may have. Oh, this is a little bit harder because I, I've turned my um, pressure on a little bit higher, so I I'm, I'm really have to push on this hard. Again, rather than holding an iron down on this or an easy press, I love this machine. I will leave the link below. I think the price went up a little bit from when I bought it. I think it was like $175. Now it went up to $199. I just looked yesterday. Um, so if you're interested in getting one, I'll leave the link below. It's definitely a great investment. So this one is finished, just gonna pull it up. And I'm sorry, this is a little repetitive. Um, normally I don't do more than one or two colors, but this is going to be a multicolored one. So stick with me guys, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, I'm working really hard on this and this is my second time doing it. So here you go, you got the two hats here, you have the feet on the bottom, the legs here. Again, unfortunately it's red on red, but I wanted to show you guys how to do it. 
So again, going back, I'm working backwards, so it looks like next is going to be the beards, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm just pulling it from the back, trying to find the one. Yep, the beard will be next. So then the fun part, matching it up where you put the last one. And again, I'm sorry, it is red on red. I'll do my best to show you guys, but I'm just matching it up here in between the feet with the beard up on top to get the correct distance with the beards. And then once you have it where you want it, again, lay your paper down and then press it. I'll fast forward this part. You don't have to sit here with me for 30 seconds waiting, but I will be here if you need anything. Okay, we are finished. I'm gonna pull it up. I promise you this is not this difficult. It's just the multi-layers on here that I chose to do this one, but I thought how cute and beautiful for Valentine's Day than some gnomes. Oh my gosh. Guys, I wish you could see this. I really do love the glitter HTV and then it has little hearts on here. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose this. I didn't realize it when I put it on. I need to put another hat on here, so I screwed up on there. But again, like I said, I'm always honest with you, so um, I got to finish that part. So the next part is going to be um, some hearts here, and then also another pair of shoes. So if you can see that. So I'm just going to put that on. I'm just layering and layering and layering. And this one has the extra pair of shoes, so I'm trying to see where the shoes should go on here. And then again, your paper, and press it. These other ones are so much more simple to make. It's just the one color, one thing on it, so it's just one time thing. But I wanted to show you the step by step in case you're interested in learning how to do multi layers. I do have this other one that I'm going to do as well. Um, maybe I'll just put this one on a white towel like this. I bought these teary towels or I think they're called flower towels from Walmart. Um, maybe I'll find another one. I'll press it. I'll make it nice and neat and then do uh, another gnome one on here instead of the red one. So it is done. Ah, a little too much pressure on here maybe. And sorry about my cat in the background. So I'm just pulling this off. And going with the next layer, which, uh-oh, I misplaced it, <laughs> is this last heart here. So I'm just going to put this one heart on here because after everything is finished, they're all going to be holding the hearts. So bear with me, guys. I promise I'm almost done. I'm going to press this for another 30 seconds, and then I'll be right back. Okay, this part's done. This is why I'm saying the heat press is so easy. I'm not... Wasting my time, I'm not holding it down, I'm not guessing the time. You just push it down and let it do its thing. So I did the last heart. So the last part is actually the hands going on now. So this is where I said it comes in handy when you just take all the colors and put it together. So here are their noses and then here are their little hands what are going to be holding the uh, heart itself. So I'm just trying to match it up here. But here I'll show you guys what it looks like. So it's just like that. So their hands are holding the heart. So, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I am glad I used that red HTV. I really love how that turned out. So last time, put it over and that's it. So I'm going to let this go again for 30 seconds. I'm sorry guys for the re repetition on this, but I really wanted to be honest with you. I've been getting a lot of good feedback, how people love, how I take the time and I show you things step by step. So I appreciate those comments. Please have them coming. I really do love reading the comments. I love it when I see thumbs up. I love it when people share this because I do put a lot of thought, time, and heart into all of my videos. I do them all myself and I just love getting comments. So if you guys would, leave a comment below. So that is it. This was the last part that you had to do. So I'm just gonna peel back carefully. Oh my gosh, guys, I wish you could really see this in person because it is cute. Look at that. I love 
the glitter HTV on their hat, which is amazing. I love how that looks. And I don't know if it shows up really well here. Maybe you can see it now. Their little hands are hold oh, it's still hot. <laughs> their little hands are holding the hearts. And they have hats and they have little feet here with little legs. I absolutely love how it looks. So this one is finished. I promise that was the hard one. So the other one that I cut out, actually I cut it out too big. This was the second time I cut it and the first time I did it came out pretty small. So I'm like, I need to make it a little bit bigger. So I made it bigger and now it's too big for my towel. So I'm gonna put it on here if you guys can see this. This was this the special delivery one with the truck on the bottom with the glitter HTV. So I'm actually gonna press this really quick. It is also polyester, it is an oven mitt. Um, on my last video, I showed you guys how to do these, but I'm just going to do this one really quick, and I figured I'd show you, because um, this is the one I just cut out, but I'm just going to layer it again on here. Uh, put it wherever you'd like, but make sure it's uneven. And then just do the same thing. I'm still at polyester, so I have it set at 315 at 30 degrees. And I'll do that piece first, and then I'll go back and do the second one, which is this one, the special delivery, loads of love. So I thought that was really cute. I do have the heart to go in between here. So again, sorry for the long video, but I wanna be honest with you guys and I wanna show you step-by-step step how things are done. So I'm gonna wait eight seconds for this to be done and I'll be right back. All right. So now it's done. I'm gonna pull this away. I'm gonna peel this back slowly. Oh my gosh, I love this glitter HTV. Look at that, isn't that amazing? It is a little hard to see because it's on red. I know, I know. Please don't leave that feedback because I already know it's there and it's hard to read. But I'm not gonna waste it. So I'm just gonna finish it up and then put this one on the top, center it again, and then press it. But again, this is all you have to do for each one of your things that you're doing. You can do it on any towel, you can do it on like a blanket, you can put it on a pillowcase, whatever you want. But this is just an easy way to do it and I love how these turn out. So I'm gonna finish this up really quick. I just have a few more towels to do and then I'll show you what they all look like after I'm finished. But please leave me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you like this video. I'm sorry it's a little bit longer than my usual ones but I'm always honest with you and I wanted to show you everything step by step. So stay tuned to see what they look like in the end. I love how these towels turned out and I hope you enjoyed this video as I put a lot of thought and time into it and I hope you learned something from it. Please leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave me a comment below. I love reading comments from my subscribers. Happy crafting everyone and happy Valentine's Day!